Hi, my name is Mike Keenan, and this is going to be a very quick but a very serious video. Um, at the moment, I'm in uh, my final year at university studying uh, journalism and public relations. And I, I just want to inform you about some information. And this is just basic information I just grabbed off Google just quickly just to uh, present it. So in, in news broadcasting, there's a saying, if it bleeds, it leads. The phrase dates back to the end of the 1890s. William Randolph Hearst coined the phrase after seeing that the stories involving horrific incidents were the ones that caught the public's attention. As it turns out, these stories are easy to produce. Next, in journalism, we, we work with a theory called the, uh, the theory of news values, and it's how stories are presented to um, so that readers will um, click if it's on the internet or buy newspapers. So just quickly, the phrase, if it bleeds, it leads, refers to the news value of conflict or drama. This news value emphasizes stories that involve violence, tragedy or conflict, as these types of stories tend to attract more attention and engage readers or viewers. It highlights the human, fascina the human fascination with dramatic and often negative events. Okay, next, um, I'm just gonna speak about um, Watchman channels and, and one particular Watchman channel, which is called Watchman River. Um, this particular channel, if I just read the last five videos produced, the headlines are, any hour now, Middle East explosion. Time is short, let's pray. Are you ready for the end times? Must watch. Beware, warning signs abound. Chaos, protests, and Olympic threats. The world is right. So basically, this is exactly what we do in journalism. They're, they're sensationalist headlines, which um, produce reader interest. And basically, that, that's fine. You know, people can um, create videos to, uh, to get clicks, to uh, generate income. And that's their, that's their business. You know, I believe that um, well, when I was born again, one of the first things that came to me was that, you know, God's word is not bound. The, the truth is free. You know, if you're a, a preacher, you, you have, you are, you know, have by God's word, you can um, gain an income through your, through your preaching, etc. You know, that's um, part and parcel of it. But for people like me, um, I would never ask, you know, for money or try to claim any income at all from God's word because God's word is not bound. Um, I just want to say, I, I read a comment on a, um, on another channel, which was referring to the Watchman River channel. Look, I, I have not confirmed this comment because I, I'm just not going to draw proof. There are thousands of comments trying to find it, but I'm going to read part of the comment that was posted. And I'm not going to read the entire comment because there's actually information about other Watchmen who I don't know, basically. I, I can't confirm what they're saying is true. So I'm just going to read this to you. I saw a comment on Riverboat's channel about a lady not taking a job she has been wanting because the rapture was soon. Also, saw a commenter asking if suicide was a sin because they wanted to end it all, because they're tired, just sad. And this is what happens. You know, these, these constant, you know, hard-hitting headlines, you know, drawing people to click creates people who become really anxious. And it, and it can lead to bad things. I, I used to be, you know, follow the watchman myself, but I stopped about two years ago, you know, and, um, you know, things have been great since, you know, you know, I, I was getting, starting to get, you know, anxious and, you know, these type of things. You know, just um, these watchman channels have a tendency to um, shipwreck people's faith. Since I walked away from the, the watchman channel, channels, I, I've grown my faith and drawn close to the God. In fact, there's on the on the internet now. There's only one person I, I listen to actually, and, and it's only on occasion as well. The rest of my time is um, spent in God's Word, studying His Word, and drawing close to Him. Look, I, it's just a warning. Just just be careful. People have free will to do what they want. If you want to be entertained, just remember that these Watchmen channels, you know, they're basically just they're entertainment, like. The things that, that are said on most of them are just 
you know, beyond belief. They're just ridiculous, really, on a lot of occasions. You know, and, you know, Watchman River, you know, what he does is between him and God. It's none of my concern. He does have a second channel called More Watchman River, and it's filled with uh, really subtle false teaching. Look, the man does very says, rarely says anything negative because it's all, you know, contemporary Christianity. Everything's got to be positive. The only time he's negative when he talks about uh, King James Bible believers and how he's got a problem with King James only in in public relations. That's actually one of the methods used by propagandists. It's called um, name calling, which means that you know basically that if you call someone someone a derogatory name, it will try and um, you know, gaslight you into not looking further and doing your own research into that information because that person that you've name called is basically viewed as being, you know, loopy or crazy or, you know, out of the norm. So it's a it's a it's a psychological tactic. So, you know, and I'm not saying that he does that deliberately, he's probably just heard it from other people. Look, I would highly encourage having a look at the book. If if you really want to learn this is Gar Ripplinger's book New Age Bible Versions this is a um, 21 2021 2022 updated uh, edition highly recommended this will this will show you what's been happening in the world all these new Bible versions which are New Age Bible versions look I'll, I'll be honest don't listen to what people say online do your own research you know and it's all about the truth if you if you ask God for the truth He'll reveal the truth to you. You know, it, it all comes back to it. I'm just going to lean up here and just read it for the wall. Second Thessalonians 2, uh, verse 11. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And, you know, I, I highly recommend reading that, that entire chapter. It, it'll, you know, explain it further. But basically, if you, if you want to believe a lie, the Lord will allow you to believe that lie. If you want the truth, God will allow you to know the truth. This is why, you know, in the Bible, we're told to um, search ourselves, I'm paraphrasing, search ourselves to see that we're still in the faith. We need to be judging ourselves all of the time just to make sure that we're, we're walking correctly according to the truth of God's word. There's so much deception out there and you need to check everything. Check me, check everyone. Go to God's word. It's our source. It's our, the only source of absolute truth on this planet. And that is the King James Bible not these other Bible versions, which are corrupt versions that come out of Alexandria, Egypt, which is a place of uh, bondage and slavery. And Egypt is a type of the world. The King James Bible come, is from the Texas Receptus, which comes from a place called Antioch in Syria. And Antioch in Syria was the place we were first called Christians. You know, it's a spiritual thing. And again, I'll, I'll read another Bible verse here. It's um, but the natural second, it's just first Corinthians 2.14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. And this is what it's about. Natural man, spiritual man. If you want to know the truth, ask God for the truth. He is the source of all truth. And, and I'll read one more Bible verse before I finish this video. I'll just phone my, my wall so I'll read it correctly. It is... Um, Psalm 145, verse 18, the Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. Look, that's all I want to say, and I'm going to leave it there. God bless you all. Bye for now.